Coming up on the show, a peek inside the new bus manufacturing facility from Swedish commercial vehicle major Scania and their future plans for India. All the action from the racetrack where the big brawny Tata Prima trucks battle it out. And finally, the legends of drag racing and endurance racing share their success stories. Hello and welcome to CNB Bazaar Buzz. This week we are coming to you from the brand new bus manufacturing facility inaugurated by Swedish commercial vehicle major Scania. This plant is part of the larger expansion strategy that the company has undertaken to grow its presence in India. Here's a quick look at the company's strategy and the new launches planned from the company for India. Make in India seems to be more than a buzzword these days, especially with auto manufacturers announcing new manufacturing plans in India. The latest to join the bandwagon is Swedish commercial vehicle Stania, with a new bus manufacturing facility near Bangalore. The plant's current annual capacity is 1,000 units per year and will employ 300 people initially. And in line with their sustainable transport solutions, the plant will house a biogas production unit and locally assemble ethanol buses. Nagpur is already running a pilot ethanol bus made by Scania to check for its feasibility in Indian conditions. Scania largely competes with the likes of Volvo and Mercedes-Benz at the top end of the luxury bus market and sees huge growth potential in India. We started a more long-term work already back in 2007 uh, sure. when it comes to India. Uh, together with LNT, uh, we started the distribution uh, of trucks mainly for mining. Yeah. And then in 2011, we took the decision to uh, come here uh, in, uh, to make industri industrialization as well. Sure. And the first step was actually doing truck and bus chassis. Uh, we inaugurated one half year ago. But we see uh, the increased need, of course, in transportation in India, growing economy, more advanced transport solutions that also on buses and coaches are very important and uh, a couple of years ago we took the, we took the decision to, to um, make also a localized uh, bus and coach production. So that is the day to day. Sure. Uh, 300 crores is what mm -hmm. you're investing mm -hmm. in this new plant. Mm -hmm. uh, take us through in terms of how you want to invest this. Is this largely large buses that you want to uh, target or you want to look at other uh, lower budget level but, uh, buses as well? No, I think we, we are a premium player uh, and uh, therefore we have targeted the market from, from the high end, uh, both on the coach side. So now we are introducing uh, three different models uh, from 12 meters, uh, two axles up to 14.5 or 3 axle models. Uh, but more importantly, uh, we see that uh, we are introducing new technologies in terms of uh, biofuels, uh, renewable fuels, safety standards, uh, comfort, etc. And uh, in the midterm, already this year, we will also introduce models for uh, city uh, transport. With buses also, you talk about sustainable technologies, mm -hmm. ethanol as well. Mm -hmm. Is there a plan for hybrids, electric, uh, bringing that model as well? It's yeah, still fairly nascent in India. Yeah, absolutely. I, but I think uh, that, that is, uh, we have a model product system, and that means that we can, uh, uh, I mean, add on these type of technologies also later on, because with a hybrid technology, still you have some sort of combustion engine, and uh, then you can have a diesel technology, or you can have bioethanol, or you can have biogas. Uh, also, any uh, target for market share because mm -hmm. it's a highly competitive space that yeah, the yeah, high yeah. end of the market. It you is. have established players. Uh, you're a bit late to come into the market, really. Uh, but you believe that you can grow your market share? Any targets that you have in mind? Yeah, I mean, what we say, we are not target a market share target oriented. We are more what what do we feel is a possible um, volume of the market that we can uh, have. And we have said in this year, uh, 350 to 400 buses. We are ramping up production now, and uh, 1,000 trucks. Uh, 2020, we are talking about uh, an opportunity in our space of uh, 5,000 trucks and 2,500 buses, which will make India a very important market for us. And also what we like is that India, uh, Make in India initiative, for example, uh, is an aspiration and a vision that we believe in, we are supporting. Yeah. And therefore, this initiative for us with the bus and coach and the truck facility here is not 
only, if I may say so, India for India, but also as uh, uh, part of a global production system where we can also uh, make use of uh, exporting to other regions. And when will that happen? When you want to? No, I think already during the course of this year we will we will start to see some markets that will get interest here because we have a very decentralized system at Scania, meaning that the different markets uh, can actually. Uh, shoes from our offerings and since now uh, the Indian facility here is part of the global production system, yeah. you will see some markets taking uh, advantage of that. The 300 crore rupees investment has been earmarked for expansion of its bus and truck facility which earlier came up in 2013. Scania aims to double its production capacity of buses and trucks by 2017. The commercial vehicle industry in India is on a strong recovery path and clearly Scania doesn't want to miss the growth curve. Coming up on CMB Bazaar Buzz, we have all the action from the racetrack and this time, surprisingly, it's the big brawny trucks that are having some fun. Stay tuned to CNB Bazaar Buzz. <laughs>